Well, we're going to move on to some Week 14 reactions, and we're going to throw a slight curveball in there because right before we get on to record, Kyler Murray goes down. Non-contact injury of some sort. I think it's pretty fair to say that he tore something in his leg of some kind. Um, Kevin, <laughs> what does this mean for Kyler? <laughs> Yeah, certainly not good. I mean, if you got him, which I do in a lot of dynasty uh, super flex leagues, um, he's it's very uh, concerning. I mean, obviously, we'll get a word on what actually happened, and I'd be very shocked if it wasn't something at the very least partially torn, if not all the way torn, uh, which is going to certainly throw a wrench into 2023 if that's the case. So, um, I mean, all he can really do is hold or, you know, snap up anybody panicking you know, snap him up if anybody's panicking uh, for well, certainly less than market value, because you got to figure Kyler Murray uh, with his trajectory, maybe his value has gone down just a slight bit in 2022, but he's probably worth at least two firsts in a little bit more, but yeah, uh, definitely a tough scene and uh, we'll get word, but initial just, you know, cause I'm obviously a, a doctor, um, you know, <laughs> right, medical right. doctor. I have, I wear the hat over at the fancy besties, uh, with the red cross that does signify I am a medical doctor because I it's do official. the injury report. It is official. It's absolutely official. Uh, I paid $8 for it along with my check mark. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so it's certainly not good. Um, I guess we'll get more info, but very concerning. Skyler, uh, assuming that there is a dip in value. I mean, there's, yeah, they, there would be, if you store in something, uh, what's the price you're willing to pay to, possibly get in at a low point yeah it, it, it'll, it would appear to me by the nature of the injury that he might be in jeopardy to miss the beginning of next season uh really you do hate to see that if your league doesn't have a trade deadline which it shouldn't because that's the way the best way to play dynasty in my opinion and our opinion here at the channel uh i'd be going and looking if there's a playoff team that has kyler murray and you're outside the playoff picture that's a perfect opportunity for me to swoop in here uh if i got if I could add a little bit on Kirk Cousins to Derek Carr, get myself Kyler Murray, give, you know, give a flex player and one of I those quarterbacks that. to a playing team, or better yet, Tua. I mean, I, I would do that straight up. I think that gets done. Absolutely. If a playoff team has Kyler Murray right now and you have Tua, uh, you go off that straight up. I think it gets done. That's that's absolutely a move I'd be looking. I'd go on my beat going on my phone tonight while they might be reeling a little bit maybe you want to wait till tomorrow you know we see a little bit of what's going on exactly with that injury what it is um or not if you want to try to catch them you're like i don't care i mean it could be completely it could be the worst of injuries and i probably want to get that trade done so maybe you want to use the panic to your advantage but that's that's something i would be instantly going to do on this uh some people don't like to to go to managers the second a player gets hurt but um <laughs> I, I play that way you know? no, no feelings okay. in fantasy football absolutely <laughs> <laughs> I, I I really like the tearing up from like the Derek Carr Kirk Cousins Rams idea. I like that one a lot. 